everyone, welcome back. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some things that I've chosen from Topshop that I think would make great Valentine's gifts, whether you're buying for someone else or just treating yourself. Topshop has kindly allowed me to choose some items from their website that I would think would make perfect gifts for Valentine's Day in particular, but honestly the things that I've chosen I think would make great gifts for birthdays, any different occasion, just as little tokens and also if you just wanted to buy them for yourself because I'm in love with everything that I've got to show you today. So I'm going to start off quite traditionally and the first thing that I've got to show you is a necklace. Jewelry is quite a common thing, a quite a common gift to give someone for Valentine's Day or indeed to receive. Um, but it can, get quite, it can get quite expensive and I know when I was younger um, I didn't have the budget for Valentine's Day. I used to buy it on like I think one year I bought him some chocolate and a CD um, and he and maybe some socks or something ridiculous but you can get really delicate and beautiful items that aren't very expensive and this is a good example of that so this is by Freedom at Topshop and this is a gold chain necklace and then it's got a little pendant on with a pink stone inside it's just something that's really really delicate and I think a lot of girls would appreciate. So as you can see it's just got the tiny little stone and it looks really cute and romantic and it was really really inexpensive so I thought this was quite a nice little present to get somebody. Sticking with the more traditional theme again I've got some underwear. Now I know that some people, I did a Twitter poll and asked whether people think it's cringy to get someone lingerie for Valentine's Day or, or if it's cringy to receive it and um, it was 50-50 basically. I think if it's done in a really tasteful way, lingerie can be a really, really nice gift. If you buy someone a beautiful set that they can appreciate and makes them feel good about themselves, not just because you want to see them in it. So they're French knickers and they've just got this gorgeous lace pattern. Um, just something a little bit normal and plain and simple. I don't think you can go wrong with black underwear. I think it's the safest option in my eyes. Um, I always feel the nicest and the sexiest in black underwear, whether I'm going shopping or whether it's for a special occasion. So they're the knickers that I chose and to go with that I chose a bralette and I am obviously a bigger busted girl um, and sometimes I struggle to find pretty skimpy underwear such as this. Topshop go up to a size 16. Oh, this is the bralette. This is actually a 14 because they'd sold out the 16 which I thought would be a little bit better for my big busty ears. Um, but this is what the bralette looks like so it's the same it's the same design as the knickers so it's a really nice matching set and it's very very skimpy it's got this gorgeous ribbon detailing band around um the under bust area i just think it's really pretty and obviously there's a trend in at the moment to wear these over t-shirts um, or over different tops and I just think it's a really pretty trend. I think it could be worn as part of that trend as well. I just think it's really, really pretty. Going a little bit more pricier and a little bit less traditional now, I've got a pair of shoes to show you. These were £59. I'll link everything down below with all the prices and um, everything like that so you can go and check the, this stuff out for yourself. Topshop have some amazing things on there at the moment. Now this pair of shoes I got in this colour that I'm going to show you but they also come in a pink colour. I didn't know which ones to get and I've already put the other ones on my birthday list because they are just beautiful. Um, they aren't too high so this is what they look like. They are velvet court shoes kind of um, but then they tie up with lace here or ribbon and Topshop have brought out so many shoes like this recently where they tie up with a ribbon and I've already got a pair myself, the uh, glitter sparkly ones that I wore to my graduation. They keep bringing out so many different designs and styles with the ribbon tie up and I'm obsessed with this trend. So they are pointy at the front obviously as you would expect from a court shoe. The heel isn't too high so they could be worn with jeans, a pleated skirt, tra smart trousers, anything. I just, a dress, I love them so much and the colour is kind of like a grey green just something really really different and I think they're a standout shoe but they are really comfortable as well. Whoever you are and whoever you're buying for, if they love their shoes, I don't think you can go wrong with a pair of shoes. Whether it's Valentine's Day or not, scrap the chocolates and the flowers, go all out and choose a beautiful pair of shoes because I just think it's a little bit more thoughtful, a more thought's gone into it but also it's like you've made an effort and you've chosen something that's really beautiful and who wouldn't be happy to open a package with these in. Last but not least is even less traditional still, I think, for Valentine's Day, completely at the other end of the scale when it comes to lingerie. And these are a pair of pyjamas. 
So I don't really think that presents for Valentine's Day have to be sexy or in any way um, provocative, if that makes sense. They can be cute and cosy as well and just to show a token of your appreciation and your love for that person. And um, these are the pyjamas that I chose. They're a really soft cotton material and then they're pink with blue and white stripes running through. And they also come with a little pocket as well to the side. Really, really just so cute. And then they come with a matching pair of shorts, which I just think are adorable. So they come with a little drawstring tie in that denim blue colour. They've got the denim trim around the bottom as well. A little bit longer at the bottom, um, at the back even, which I like. Um, and then it's got the little pocket at the back again. Um, buttons going down the front. Just so super, super cute and I think they're very, very pretty and would make a really lovely present for somebody. So that's everything that I've got to share with you today. As I said, I will leave everything linked down below. I hope you're having a lovely week. And if you celebrate Valentine's Day and you're getting a token for somebody or indeed you get presents, I really hope you have a lovely day. And just remember what it's about. It's about showing your appreciation. So I will see you all very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.